Hello everyone, we will continue the topic best performance practices or guidelines and in the previous video we finished with first three best performance guidelines. Now we will jump on to next performance practice. What is next performance practice? Never use corresponding in the query. Firstly, we will replicate the scenario. Then we will understand what is the meaning of corresponding and why we should not use in the query. So this is the program which we developed. We are fetching data of these four columns from order header table and data is going into this internal table LT underscore data. So this is our good query because we followed the same sequence as that of data dictionary itself. We have not used star. We followed the same to same sequence as that of data dictionary. Suppose in this case, what is happening? Your order number is going to order number of the internal table. Order date is going to order date of the internal table. Payment mode is going to payment mode of the internal table. Similarly, CURR is going to CURR of the internal table because whatever the structure you created, it also also matching with your this particular query sequence itself, this particular column sequence itself. Now, suppose what happened when we created the structure, suppose I declared payment mode is at the second position. And order date is at the third position. Suppose while declaring the structure, we did this. Payment mode is at the second position and order date is at the third position. Now, in this case, what will happen? This particular order date, this particular order number will go to which column of the internal table order number. This order date now will go to which particular column of the internal table payment mode this payment mode now will go to which column of the internal table this called this payment mode will go to order date curr will go to curr now in this case what will happen order date whenever order date will go to payment mode payment mode. Order date is of DAX 8. The length is 8 and the payment mode has a length of 1. How a date of length 8 can go into a column of length 1? So it is a wrong thing itself. Now whenever we will check the syntax, SAP is clearly giving the warning also that order date is not compatible with payment mode because how a date of 8 length can go into the payment mode because in this case what SAP is doing SAP is only going, going by the sequence sequence means order number order date order date now going to payment mode payment mode now going to order date CURR going to CURR because SAP is just simply following the sequence. Now, whenever there is a mismatch in declaring the structure and fetching the columns, so SAP gave the warning, but we ignored the warning and we activated the program. Now, whenever I run the program, SAP is clearly giving me the runtime error that their order date and payment mode are not matching. But how people will sometime resolve the issue? How people will resolve the issue here? In this case, what they will do? They are saying, okay, this is the best practice we followed. So rather than into table, they will use the word into corresponding fields of table. Now, if I will check the syntax, 
there is no syntax error. If I will activate and run the program, there is no nothing. We got the output also. But this query, this query has a less performance as compared to the previous query. Because in this query, we used which particular word now corresponding. Now, why, why corresponding affect the performance? Because whenever you will use corresponding word, SAP will go by field by field mapping. Previously, when we have not used the corresponding word, previously, this was the query. Previously, this was the query. We have not used the corresponding word. Whenever you are not going for corresponding word, SAP is only going by sequence by sequence. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. But whenever you are going for corresponding word, SAP is now going by column by column mapping, field by field mapping. Suppose simple. SAP will check order number. Is order number is in the structure? Yes. The order number will go to order number. Now after that, SAP will check order date. SAP will check in this internal table. Do you have order date? Yes, SAP will then go for order date. Now it will check for payment mode. Now do you have payment mode here? Yes, we have payment mode here. Do you have CURR here? Yes, we have CURR there. But whenever we used corresponding word, SAP has an extra headache now. SAP has to check there. Do we have a specific column with that particular name? So in case of corresponding, SAP has to do field by field mapping. Yes, your runtime error solved. Your syntax error solved. Output is correct. But this query has a less performance as compared to this query. So never, never use corresponding keyword. Whenever you are going for the query, Always make same to same sequence. So rather than using corresponding keyword to resolve the error, you should make the same sequence here also. So in the structure itself, you can make the same to same sequence. So this query has a good performance. Order number, order number. Order date, order date. Payment mode, payment mode. Currency, currency. It is going sequence by sequence. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. But when you use corresponding keyword, SAP is looking for field names. SAP is looking for field names. So avoid corresponding word in the query. Now we will jump on to the next point. What is our next point? Next point is whenever you have traditional databases always avoid join use for all entries in in the previous videos when we covered for all entries in and after that we covered join also then i told you we have a future, we have a topic in the future best performance practice at that time we will discuss that we should go for for all entries in or we should go for join. Suppose simple. This is the program we developed in which we used for all entries in. We have written two individual queries and we display the output. We developed same to same program, but in this program, we used join. Both programs has same to same output. The only thing is in case of first program, we have written individual query always. But in case of second program, we have written a single query to display the output. Now the question comes, in which case you will go for join? In which case you should go for for all entries in? Whenever you have traditional databases, traditional databases means yes, they can handle they, they can handle the data up to certain amount but whenever you have huge amount of data yes at that time those databases will not give the good performance 
So whenever you have traditional databases, always, always avoid join. Use for all entries in. Now the question comes, what are those traditional databases? Suppose if you are using Oracle or if you are using Sybase or DB2 database. So in that those databases, always avoid join use for all entries in. Now the question comes, why, why we should avoid join and why we should prefer for all entries in. Just see the answer is here itself. Whenever you have traditional databases and you are using for all entries in, have you seen whenever we are going for for all entries in, at a time we are fetching data from how many database table? One database table. Means at a time you are only giving the load of one table to the database. At a time, you are only giving the load of one table to the database. But whenever you are going for join, you are giving the load of multiple tables to the database. Just think, suppose I have 20 tables and I have written a join query of 20 tables. It means you gave the load of 20 database table to the database. And database is traditional database. It cannot handle this much load at that point of time. But whenever you are going for for all entries in, it means we are writing individual query. One query, second query, third query, fourth query. We are writing 20 individual queries. So it means at a time, how many table load is going to the database? Only one table load is going to the database. So whenever you have traditional databases, always, always prefer for all entries in. But whenever you have hard database, HANA is not a traditional database. HANA can handle any amount of data. It's always give the good performance. So whenever you have hard database, always prefer join at that time there is no need to go for for all entries in you prefer join and it's your wish how much load you want to give to database suppose if i will go for my current system if i'll check the database system status my current database is oracle so it is a traditional database so in my current system it is advisable that I should go for for all entries in and the answer is clear whenever you are using for all entries in to fetch data at a time you are only giving the load of one database table so yes so whenever you have traditional database always avoid join use for all entries in so in this video we studied two more best performance practice. One is avoid corresponding because whenever you will go for corresponding, SAP has to check field by field. SAP has to map column by column data. It's an extra headache to the SAP at that point of time. And but the second and but the fifth best practice we studied, yes, you know join you know for all entries in but whenever you have traditional databases always use for all entries in because with the help of for all entries in you are only giving the load of one table to the database in case of join we are giving the load of so much tables to the database but if you do not have traditional database you have hard database in that case prefer join you can give the load of any tables to the database. In the next video, we will study more best performance practices. So that's it in this video. Thank you.